hi there you guys welcome back to my channel and of course if this is your first time here welcome as well so i'm just gonna cut right into the chase today i'm gonna be talking about something that has been literally taking over the whole entire internet and that is how to have an aesthetic home screen using the new update ios 14. i said i don't really know if i can take it you want a couple minutes right now just to it like honestly, everyone's sharing their home screen through Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, literally everywhere. So today I'm basically gonna be telling you everything you need to know about this whole entire process. I'm gonna be talking about widgets, how to customize your own widgets, how to change the cover art of any app, literally everything you need to know to achieve an aesthetic home screen. So let's get started. So this is how my home screen looks like, as you can see, it's color coordinated but honestly i just feel like i get tired of things very easily so for me i basically focus on simplicity and not really like the neon that everyone's doing on tiktok so the very first step you obviously have to do is update your phone to ios 14. you wouldn't be able to do any of this without ios 14 so go ahead and update your phone okay so once you update your phone you're gonna notice that it literally looks exactly the same so one thing i do recommend is to basically empty everything out from your home screen that way you have like an empty canvas to work on as you can see if you swipe all the way to the right you have an app library where literally all of the apps are organized in alphabetical order okay so once you have a blank canvas basically an empty screen you're gonna want to download two to three apps so you want to go over to the app store and search up widget smith which is typically the first one and then the second one which is color widgets and then the third app is completely optional but if you don't so already i highly recommend downloading pinterest because honestly that's where i got all of my inspiration so the first thing you should do is go on pinterest or just google images whatever works for you and just look for a lock screen that you like personally i changed my background like so many times just because I was trying to see what fits well with my theme. So as you guys can see, I went with this very clean, very bright, white home screen. <laughs> so you just basically click use as wallpaper and then you can zoom, do whatever you want and just click set and get home screen. So now we're going to move on to the apps. I didn't really use color widgets like that. All of my widgets are from widget smith but i am going to say color widgets is way easier to use as you guys can see there's a ton of like presets already here saved and all you have to do is download them and add them to your home screen but personally i just felt like this wasn't my aesthetic but if you do see something that you like on here by all means download this app i'm going to show you really quickly how easy it is so you just tap on the widgets that you want as you can see you can change the background change the theme you can also change the font and then you want to click set widgets which is basically saving your widget i'm going to add a totally new page just so you guys can see so you want to click that top button that has the plus sign and you want to scroll all the way to where it says color widgets and as you guys can see it's right there all you have to do is add widget and boom it's so easy to use okay so now it's time to talk about widget smith this was literally the only app that I used. I literally took the whole entire night to do my home screen, but that's because I am so indecisive and I didn't know what I wanted. So we're gonna go and click Widget Smith. I'm gonna create a new one for you guys. Okay, so you wanna click the little widget right here. And as you guys can see, you have so many options to pick from, but I just went ahead and clicked the month and date. And then you can click font. You can change the font however you want. I chose New York and then you can also change the color of the text but again I want it to be very simplistic so I chose white and then I also went to background color and chose 80% gray and then I also scrolled even more and clicked the gray you know border okay so once you have your little widgets all you want to do is click save and then you want to make sure your phone is on wiggle mode which basically you just press and hold and then your phone goes on wiggle mode. And again, you wanna click the plus sign, scroll all the way down to widget smith, and here you have all of your widgets that you customized. So if you made a small widget, go to the small widgets. If you made a medium widget, go to your medium widgets, and so on and so forth. 
So we just made a small widgets and boom, you just click on it and it pops up. One thing I am going to say, which I personally was very confused about, obviously if you're making a lot of widgets, there's one extra step that you have to do. So for instance, let's say I want this blue one, so small number four. You want to remember what widgets you're using. So you want to press and hold, click edit widgets, and then click small. As you guys can see, I have a ton. So I just click small four press out and boom so by default you're basically going to get the first one every single time but if you want to change it up again all you have to do is edit the widgets okay so now i'm going to show you guys how i got the little calendar in the middle of my screen so again you want to open up widget smith and the size of this one is a medium so i'm going to click add medium widget you can even choose a time the clock the date literally anything you want but i personally chose the calendar and went for the outlook version for the font i went ahead and used noteworthy and then you can change up the colors make it you know aesthetically pleasing and then you can also change up the background color i'm gonna click 70 percent but again there's just so many colors for you to pick from so you want to click back click save again go to your home screen make sure your phone is on wiggle mode you want to click the little plus button go all the way down to widget smith again we just finished making a medium widget so you want to scroll to medium widgets click add widgets and as you guys can see the very first one is always by default so you want to edit the widget and click medium five and boom you have your little calendar so again you can totally make this your own it's very time consuming when you're first starting off just because you don't know where everything is or how to do everything but i promise you it gets so easy after you have everything down so now we're going to move on to shortcuts or basically how to change the little app icon into your own picture so for this you want to open the app shortcuts which already comes with your phone so to create a shortcut for any of your apps you want to click the little plus button and click add action and you want to type in open app and as you can see you have literally all of the apps that you have on your phone so let's say i want to make a shortcut for youtube so after you selected the app you want to create the shortcut for all you want to do is press the three buttons and change the name to whatever name you want to name it i'm just going to make everything lowercase obviously i cannot spell <laughs> and then you want to click add to home screen it's going to make you write it one more time so you want to type in the app one more time and then you want to click on the little image right here and you want to choose photo as you guys can see i have all of the images here saved on my phone so let's say i want to make it this little green book image you can basically zoom in how you want to and click choose and you want to click add done done and you want to go back to your home page and boom it's right there it takes you to youtube one thing i am going to say if you do decide to have an image for your apps you're not going to see any notifications on the actual screen which is why i ended up putting some on different pages so for instance i have youtube here um my email even though i have everything on my home page this just creates a shortcut in order to make it to the app so for instance i have youtube right here i'm gonna click on it and then it takes you directly to youtube but as you guys saw it's gonna lag a little bit so it's gonna take you to shortcuts and then it's going to direct you to the actual app it honestly doesn't take that long it's just a few seconds so yeah that's basically how i organized everything again i didn't want to go too extreme like i could have changed the cover art for all of the apps but for me that was just very time consuming so i just organized everything by color so that you guys was basically how i created my own aesthetically pleasing home screen let me know if this tutorial was very helpful by giving me a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and with that being said i'll see you guys next time on my next one which is very very soon bye guys i said i don't really know if i can take it you want a couple minutes right now just to face it when it comes to the shit you can't see, I gotta talk about it.